next is uh, the concept of plant disease uh, the the concept of plant disease can be more elaborated uh, from the disease triangle concept uh, disease triangle is one of the first fundamental principle of uh, the factors involved in the disease uh, development or causation the existence of a disease caused by a biotic agent absolutely requires the interaction of a susceptible host a virulent pathogen and a conducive or favorable environment uh, that is uh, important for the development uh, development of the disease uh, however we can also uh, control the plant diseases uh, by elimination of any of these uh, three causal components if we talk about the detail of uh, the different elements given in the uh, disease triangle uh, these elements are very important for the development of the disease uh, number one is host in our production system uh, regardless of the uh, crop the cultivars may be resistant uh, susceptible or tolerant uh, what is resistance response uh, in this the cultivar possess uh, the qualities uh, that hinder the development of the given pathogen uh, the host is infected little or not at all however in case of uh, susceptible response of the cultivar the cultivar lack the inherent or genetic ability to resist the, the disease or attack of the given pathogen this is actually non response uh, non immune response uh, where uh, the uh, cultivar is uh, destroyed by the uh, disease or given pathogen However, in case of uh, tolerant uh, host plant uh, that has the ability uh, to sustain the effects of the disease without dying or suffering serious injury or uh, the crops uh, crop losses are below the threshold level, uh, this is also uh, uh, for the amount of toxic residues uh, developed inside or on the uh, edible plant parts which are uh, allowable. Uh, number two is uh, the pathogen. The pathogen may be uh, virulent. The virulence means the ability to cause disease uh, or avirulent that is uh, not capable capable to develop the disease on the host plant. The third element of the disease triangle is the environment. Uh, the environment is probably the single most limiting factor for the development of the uh, plant disease. Because without uh, a conducive or favorable environment, a plant disease will not occur. Uh, in most cases, a favorable environment involves high humidity or free moisture on the surface of the leaf in the form of dew as well as moderate temperatures. Uh, however, if we add uh, the time factor in the disease triangle, uh, this will lead to the four dimensional disease pyramid uh, called tetrahedron. Uh, similarly, humans also have uh, some uh, effect or influence on the development of the disease. And if we add uh, the human factor um, in the uh, tetrahedron of the disease, disease uh, that will lead to a pyramid, a five factor pyramid. So, how uh, the disease epidemics are developed? Uh, there are different factors which are involved in the uh, disease epidemic, develop, epidemic development. Uh, number one is uh, host. Host must be susceptible. Uh, the pathogen must be virulent. Uh, number three, the environmental factors must be favorable. Uh, disease development is also affected by time, that at which particular time uh, the disease is uh, going to take place that is actually uh, that actually involves the season and the human uh, that how the human uh, is uh, affecting the, the development of the disease uh, whether the human is uh, uh, humans are uh, involved in the intervention practices which are uh, important for the control of the disease or not uh, so here uh, below you can see uh, the disease uh, triangle which we have uh, discussed before 
and uh, tetrahedron, disease tetrahedron, where the time uh, is added as well. And in the last, uh, if we uh, add the human uh, factor in the uh, tetrahedron, uh, this will lead uh, to the interactions of the five components uh, that are described in the disease pyramid. If we talk about uh, uh, the uh, rest of the components of the disease pyramid, uh, number four is time. It is a key component. Uh, disease will not occur uh, instance, instantaneously. Uh, even in the situations where uh, the environment is favorable for the development of the disease uh, for an extended period of time, uh, the time is required for uh, the pathogen uh, to infect the plant and reproduce uh, there and to produce uh, characteristic uh, symptoms in the form of lions uh, as well as uh, uh, the sporulation and uh, development of the inoculum uh, to increase the population. Uh, number five factor is uh, the human activities uh, that uh, play an important role, uh, for example, uh, site selection and preparation, uh, the site uh, selected for plantation of uh, the particular crop is uh, good and the soil is well prepared. Uh, the selection of propagative material, uh, the human must have to uh, make sure that the propagative material like uh, seeds or suckers and uh, layers uh, these are not infected. Uh, introduction of exotic pathogens, uh, cultural practices like sowing time, sowing method, and uh, out of season crops, uh, disease control measures are properly employed, uh, like uh, type of the chemical and uh, uh, selection of dose is proper. Uh, the introduction of uh, the new uh, pathogen or disease must be prohibited through the quarantine measures.